Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Amanda. I'm a part-time reseller and hopefully you are here. Well, because you clicked the video, but you are here to see part two of my most recent thread up 200 pound bulk mystery rescue box order. Now in video number one, you got to see the trash, like the literal trash as well as a couple of items I'm going to keep. And then I kind of laid out for you what my plan for this video series is going to be. I know I like to see every piece of item. Maybe you do too. But today's video is going to be the Play-Doh's Closet video. So I'm going to show you all of the items and I'm not gonna go back and do like the check marks and I like to watch those videos. Um, I'm not gonna do all of that. What I'm going to do is show you every piece. I'm going to move quickly because this is a quite a full box. I'm going to put them over here in my handy dandy tubs. My, I have two of them. My plan and hope is to fold them nicely after the video and I can have two of these to take. I've noticed I don't like to take more than two. Oftentimes it would limit you to two per person. But if you have too many items, I feel like I look through them quickly and don't take as much. It's just my experience. So I have sorted the items to take to buy, sell, trade between Play-Doh's Closet and Style Encore. Now my Play-Doh's Closet will not take some of the items that Style Encore will, but Style Encore will often take the Play-Doh. So these items will go to Play-Doh's first and then I will add them to what I'm going to show you in the next video for what I'm going to take to Style Encore. I will not show you them again. Um, and so at the end of this video, you're going to see me, future me, in a different outfit, a different day, several days from now. I'm probably going to go in like three or four days. And I'm going to just kind of recap how many items they took. I don't know how many are in this box. I will count them. So I'll let you know how many items I had how many items they took and how much money I made. So hopefully you find this helpful and just to get a glimpse of what types of items are going to come in these boxes. So my cost of goods for these items is $1.31. Now, for many of you, that is your average cost for going to the Goodwill bins, the outlet. For me, that is high. I go to the outlet often and my cost of goods is anywhere between 65 and 75 cents every single time. Uh, my bins cost is a little bit lower per pound though than some other places in the country. I am here in Orlando, Florida. So let's jump in. Let's get started and show you. I've kind of learned what types of items my Play-Dohs will take. And I go to one particular one that tends to take more than ones in other parts of town. I think it just depends on the demographic and, and the size of the stores are quite a bit bigger. So the size of the store. So, all right, there is some random stuff that you know, I don't know what they're going to take. Now, I don't think I mentioned in the first video, I'm going, I did mention I'm going to do a thread up partner kit, but those are going to be the items that the buy, sell, trade stores do not take, provided they have a size tag. Some of these items don't. I have had them take items without a tag, so we will see. All right, so this is some random brand Body Central, and it's got like an old school looking paper tag. It might be vintage, but not in a good way. I don't know. It's just this like shimmery tank top. This is a Time and True, which is Walmart, size extra large, Sherpa, over, set, over your head, hoodie. I hope they take those. They're very cozy. Forever 21, just a sweater. Now I did wash some of these items. I said in the last video, I had to do two loads of laundry. Most of it, if you didn't watch that video, was for deodorant marks. So if you are buying any type of bulk items from ThreadUp or anything from ThreadUp, I'm sure you watch it before you wear it. A lot of these items did not have stains, but when you looked inside the armpit, were covered in deodorant. So, yikes. All right, this is a Hollister. This is very cute. It is a romper. Now, being here in Florida, we don't really have a winter. So last time I went, they did take some sweaters, but I think that they take tank tops and shorts like all year. This is a very cute maxi dress. I don't know where this is from. Love Appella. It kind of looks like a cheapy Ross kind of deal, but it's a maxi dress. There is no size tag, so we'll see. Things like that, if they don't take it, I will take it to Style Encore. If they don't take it, it's just gonna be donated because ThreadUp will not take items, like I said, without the size tag. This is a new with tags, Forever 21 dress. And if you didn't watch the first video, yes, I could list some of this myself, but I have enough things to list. All right, this is Forever 21 size large, a kiss tank, and I don't know if this is men's or women's, Play-Dohs also takes men's items, so doesn't even matter. 
This is a pair of, I don't know this brand, but it's a size 13, which is a junior size VIP jeans. They don't feel very good, but they are high-waisted. They are distressed, hoping that something they'll take. This is, no idea, Toki Doki Los Angeles. I did look it up. These shirts do sell for around $15 to $20 on Poshmark, but I have to take it. All right, these are Old Navy Pixies. They are high rise, so they might take them. Most, most of, every single piece of my dress wear pants. I don't really, I mean, I mean these could be dress wear, but I have all of the career stuff. Thankfully, I didn't get a ton of it in these, this 200 pounds. That's all in my style Encore box. Most of my athletic wear, like these are Forever 21, size extra small. I'm going to take most of that stuff here to Forever, Forever 21. No, to Play-Dohs. This shirt, I did look this up. It's called The Crypt. My mom was with me and I was like, is it, it's kind of like a gang. I don't know, but it is a website. And, um, but this shirt, I, I don't, I, I think it just covers the top. Listen, I'm not even, no judging. If you can pull off something like this and or you feel good in it, you go on with yourself. But I, I don't see how this would cover your girls. So I don't know. What you think, babe? How do you think this shirt goes? You're holding it backwards. No, you want my my, my uh, handsome hubby is gonna make a cameo in this video. Here, you want to figure this shirt out while I move on to the next? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, some old um, Adidas size small leggings. <laughs> this is a seriously soft arrow off the shoulder long sleeve. I feel like it's flat. Another Forever 21 little dress. There are a lot of dresses, which I'm hoping that they take because of the holidays coming up. Uh oh, this is a cute little boho skirt. This is IZ Buyer. Is this like a Macy's house brand, something like that? It's just a really cute little skirt. It's an extra small. All right, taking it all apart to figure it out. Well, that's it. So look. Oh, oh, yeah. Here, you can hold the shoulders real quick because that's a two person job. Yeah, okay. hold that. So uh, obviously you, you would untie it and put it on and tie, but when it's tied tight, probably accordingly to but your not a lot of, chest size, it, it's going to cover and it's only going to leave a little. But there's not a lot of room to tie. We'll try it on later. And we'll, <laughs> it's a size it. extra small, so not going to happen, but there you have it. So it would cover this. Now I will say this brand, you know, the things weren't super cheap. Bye. Thanks for going to get our children, Mr. Carline. Uh, anyway, this website, the things were kind of like Fashion Nova, Shein, that sort of thing. So I'm sure I could resell it, but I'm like, how the heck am I even gonna photograph that? So, these are Fabletics. Now, I know a lot of people like to sell Fabletics. I am, I just, these are really cool. They they are like mesh with a color underneath, but the size tags rip out just like Lululemon, but there's no size dots. And so you have to measure and do the size charts. And I already, I spent a whole day doing that with leggings from the last box. I'm not doing it this time, so. Uh, we'll see. There is another of these Walmart pullovers. This one is a large, so maybe the same person had the same thing in two different sizes. This is very cute. This is Abercrombie size zero, like a another romper. This is, what are you? It's a dress, it's really cute. Where is it from? Oh, Exhilaration. Do they even still make that? Target, you guys, and I'm gonna lie, I can't tell you the last time I've been in a Target, and it used to be my mothership. I just do Target online with my red card to get free shipping. <sighs> All right, Forever 21, the size small. This is very cute. I love this mint color. It's like a one, something like that. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, with school back in, my kids are, what do my kids do? Cub Scouts, hockey, ballet, hip hop, piano lessons, I mean, there's a lot. Oh, now the two of them joined the chess club and chorus at school, after school. So we go to the car line twice on Tuesdays. <laughs> Another pair of Fabletics with no size tag. This is Vanilla Bay, a really comfy t-shirt. I would have kept that if it was my size. Some of this stuff I know good and well they're not gonna take. You just never know. Pretty young thing. No size tag. It's got like really weird pads inside of there, but it is a maxi dress. It is kind of fall colors. I don't know. 
basically I just wanted the salvageable items to go in one pile or the other. It either went in my list pile, Forever 21. Why do I keep saying that? Because they like to take Forever 21. Oh my gosh. It's been a lot of work, y'all. These boxes aren't for the faint of heart. This is Skinny Bunny. Don't know, but it's just, it feels very cheaply made. It's a really pretty little purple dress with a, anyway, that's really cute. This is a random tank top. Last Tango, made in the USA. No boundaries, Walmart high rise, size one. Like, look at these things, like, these are tiny, <laughs> but just some jeans. I will say there is a lot of Walmart in these boxes. And I said in my last video, I don't go to Walmart. No offense if you love Walmart. It's just, I don't have one super close to me. And I just have never, we've never gone there. Even when I was a kid, we never went to Walmart. That was like where you went to return Christmas gifts. That was it. Um, they make some cute clothing. I'm sure the quality isn't so great, but I kept a dress new with the tags, a little cotton dress for myself. They definitely make some cute stuff. Okay, Impex, I don't even know what this is. It's just, and basically anything that was super cropped and tiny is going to Play-Dohs. Like these, these are energy. They are size small, but these look like the same size as my eight-year-old's clothing. So, all right, this is H&M, just like a really cute linen-ish little dress. These are Danskin leggings. This is Bongo, size small. Do they, do they still make that? I think that was, what was that, JCPenney or something? I know I used to get that when I was a kid. One thing I love about ordering these boxes, I drink a little extra wine for like a week while I'm dealing <laughs> with processing it all, but you learn a lot. I will show you a couple of the items that I decided to keep to list myself that I would have just totally dismissed in the thrift store. And they are some Bolo brands. So this, I'm like, what kind of tag is this? It says, the clothes which is only available at Style Nanda is yours from now on. Please take good care of it with your love. So this is like, a, please forgive me. It, it was Korean, maybe Japanese. I know they're not the same. One of the two. But it was it was a really cute little website and the way they had things written out. But, um, and it has a really cool tag inside with all this information and all these different, anyway, um, Resell is just, it's kind of like a H&M Forever 21 quality, but not from the US. So I learned about that. This is from ASOS. It is just a pineapple crop top. Does have some wash wear. Like this, this is from Walmart, brand new with the tags. This is so soft and if it, it's a, a triple extra large. If this was my size, I would have kept it for sure. It is a, like a waffle knit with the cutest little trim very retro vibes and it is super soft. So I, I'm, one of the two stores will take that. Primark, a very tiny crop. These are some J. Crew factory shorts. And then a lot of these things, I know if the two stores don't take them, I'll make my 67 cents on my thread up partner kit. So I have taken stuff to Play-Dohs and Style Encore several times and I've never been paid out less than like $1.95 per item. So I'm not gonna lose money, you know? But it is work having to go there and gas, but it's right next to Once Upon a Child, so I would be going anyway. All right, extra small, Old Navy, little cardigan. This is, this is another one. Like this is Exhilaration, which is just Target, was completely covered in deodorant. But, so I washed it. It's very cute, I don't know if you can tell. It's got some embroidery on it and these really cute ties on the sleeves. I might have taken that if they'd done their laundry. All right, this is, same with this. This is Under Armour. Now there is no size tag. It had a giant stain on it and washing it, it got the stain off. Okay, this is a decent brand depending on what you find. I'd never heard of it. It's called Pico 1988. But this, I was looking at 12, 10 to $12. It's just a little button up. So not worth it for me. This is Old Navy Extra Small Petite. I don't know if Play-Dohs will take this because it's petite, but it is like a leopard print. And I did keep some petite and plus size items for myself to sell that are not really higher end, but I like to have a variety of sizes in my store. 
These are Walmart time and true size 10 shorts. These are some overalls. They are the brand Lush. I, again, I, I want to say, maybe you guys don't know. Oh, no, these are, these are pink blush. I thought this had just said Lush. Pink blush. I have ordered stuff from them. I didn't wanted to look this up, but I forgot. I have ordered maternity, so it's been a lot of years from them. I think they have regular clothing too, but anyway, these are just some overalls, but they just are very, very thin. So I don't know, they just don't feel quality. Maybe they are, maybe I should look those up. Another Forever 21 tiny little crop. These are Under Armour, no size tag. So I don't know if they're gonna take a lot of this stuff without the size tags, I hope they do. This is cute. This is Kinsey size small. This is something I would have kept for myself if it was bigger, but it's just got cute little ties up the sleeve. This is the one pair of career pants I'm sending because they're, I don't know, the brand is Be True. It just seems like a junior type. You know, when I was a junior size, I had a job that I had to wear khaki pants too. So maybe is Target still khaki bottoms? Don't know. All right, this is the limited. It's a really pretty, I don't, I put this in here because it's the limited, which is a mall brand. They might take this as style encore. I doubt Play-Dohs will take this, but look at the back. This would be great to wear to a Christmas party, but again, I'm kind of old, so. Same with this, I think this is pretty. It's, this looks like a junior's type tag. I don't know what it is, but it's just a little dress. This is a Champion C9, which is Target, a little jacket. Now I've sold, you guys know if you watch my channel, I do the bulk boxes. I have Target items to sell, but usually they're new with tags because I've been selling a lot of Target stuff recently. This is straight from Amazon or something. It does have this tedious little tag, it says medium, if they actually know where to look for it because it's underneath a strap, which isn't normal, but it's this really cheap, feeling dress with a very low yeah this is definitely from Amazon or Wish this is BP which is Brass Plum which is a Nordstrom rack house brand maybe regular Nordstrom too I don't know but it's very pilly I don't know if they'll take it this is very cute they have to take this some random brand it's an extra small it's beautiful though look at the colors but it is a crop Whew. I am really glad that crop things were not a thing when I cared about being trendy. I don't know that I ever cared, but when I wore trendy things, when I didn't just wear Disney t-shirts and random words t-shirts all the time. This again, another little full tilt old navy tank top. Um, some random brand. Mean chica something or another or some little dress so you guys if you you're gonna have to go through the junk this is another old navy pixie pant oh no i'm seeing now this one is going to be added to my trash pile not trash i will take so this will go to the thrift because this is fixable the side i actually almost kept this for myself it's called it's chouse new york it's just a really cute boxy sheer but it needs some sewing which i'm not doing for this this is bb size six this is probably a vintage it's just a little pencil skirt there was a lot of skirts per typical because nobody wants them this is speechless these are some fila leggings I do like these. It's like a rainbow color, size large. Actually has a size tag. This is that AZ IV buyer again. It has, actually has some really cute lace detail on the sleeves. This is a no tag, no brand. But a pullover, I like the material. It's very textured, but I don't like things around my neck like that. So let's hope they take it. This is just a, what are you? 
Coldwater Creek. I don't know. Uh, they're not going to take this. This will make its way to style encore. This is J. Crew Factory size two. Now, I, you wouldn't think that they would take J. Crew and that sort of stuff, and I didn't put a lot of it in here, but I have bought myself several Vineyard Vines and Lily Pulitzer pieces, which I wouldn't think would be a Play Doh's Closet thing. So, this is the brand Parisian, which there are a lot of sold comps on Posh in the like 20 ish dollar mark, but it's a bodysuit thing, and I just didn't want to have to photograph it, so that's the only reason. All right, getting down there. Target, plain black tee. This is Under Armour, no size tag, pullover, quarter zip, an Old Navy cardigan, Old Navy red shorts. This is Moda International, which I remember ordering from this website in my early 20s. Victoria's Secret clothing. Um, but I could not for the life of me. I know this is some sort of cover up thing. Do you just hold it? Do you, I don't know. I tried to figure out how you, yeah, they're probably not gonna take it, but I don't know. It brought back memories. It's probably really old. All right, this is J. Crew Factory size double zero. It is a little skirt. I did send a couple J. Crew things that were tiny to Play Doh since it is geared more towards the, the younger crowd. Most of them, you know, don't have the wine bellies yet. So, anyway, that was my rationale. All right, Express Extra Small. I used to love Express. When I had a career straight out of college, I spent half my checks on Express and my husband shopped at Structure. Y'all remember that store? Anybody old enough? to remember that what is this oh that was the hood this is just some random brand um a cardigan i don't know this is fifth sun which i like their stuff from target it's very comfy doesn't last long it gets very pilly very quickly it's cute i would if it was not all of that and it was my size i probably would have kept that another little skirt this is 14th and union which i think is an Mm, that Urban Outfitters, something like that. Anyway, it's just a skirt. I would sell it myself because I love the color, and but it's got a lot of pilling on it. These are the cutest skirts. I love them. J. Crew Factory, size zero. This is definitely what I would wear to, if I had a job, where I had to dress up. But I'm glad I don't. <laughs> All right, this is C9, which is champion for Target, but there's no size. This is something very tiny. Feels nice. Oh, just Walmart, size extra small, a tank top. So what I've learned, if you need some undershirt tank tops, go to Walmart. I talked about that in my first video. SO, which is Kohl's, size extra small. If this was actually more of a flannel material versus cotton, I would probably have kept that to sell myself. Those are selling right now. This is Nine West, size medium, just a little tank top. This is the tiniest little skirt. So does this store, still, like, I haven't been to a mall, you guys, unrelated to COVID, even before that. we I live very close to uh, the Florida Mall, which if you've been to Orlando on vacation, you probably visited the Florida Mall. It's not too far from like International Drive and the touristy areas, but it's, it's a wonderful mall. The Once Upon a Child I Love is right near there. But anyway, all that to say, Wet Seal. I remember shopping there when I was probably 15, 16. You know, when your parents would drop you off at the mall, do they even still do that these days? Probably not. Anyway, it's an extra small little tiny skirt. Back in the days, we're at 579. I loved that store, but I remember when I was shopping there, I wasn't even a size five yet, so I wasn't shopping there. I did just go look around because you had like $20 to spend during your three hours at the mall. This is again, this that's like speechless brand, very juniors. This actually, it's a size three or else I would take that to Once Upon a Child. This is an all-in-motion sports bra, but the size, oh, there is a size, it's a medium. I like all-in-motion. If you're looking for some new, very affordable workout gear, all-in-motion Joy Lab from Target, I love it. Okay, this is a Zara Basic paper bag shorts. Ooh, okay, I'm trying, I'm hurrying. Try not to keep these super long. This is Shein, extra small. This is, this is actually cute. I remember saying, oh, this is, I don't know how to say this. It is a extra large, but I think it's a dress. I think. 
could be a tunic. It's very soft. This, I I debated keeping the Selvis. I didn't even look it up because it just doesn't feel very good, but the brand is, it's black on black. Ours, let me see it. But just cause it's kind of cool, I don't know. So it's a large, but it's got like this situation. It just looks like something that is kind of trendy that might sell. I don't know. But then I decided, what do I know? Maybe Play-Doh's will take it. This is halogen, size small, really cute little tank top. Oh, I see a string I need to cut. So I'm gonna leave that right there. This is Under Armour, just a tank top, but there is no size. This is Styling Co. Extra Small. This is, um, I don't know, Gotex, Gotex. I looked it up. It's just another like a uh, sports company. Not much money in that one little tank top. Another No Boundaries. Oh, actually, is this the same size as the ones I kept? If it is, I'm gonna keep it because it's just a plain, it looks brand new, rib tank top. I tried them on to junior size, 15, 17. I think this is the same size as the ones I decided to keep, um, but they're longer, which I like, and I do wear tank tops underneath the three days that I wear a sweater. They're not gonna give me very much for that anyway, so might as well keep it. I think this is a school, maybe. This is Champion US or UCSB, I don't know. That's gonna go. This is Hollister, extra small, just a shirt. This is a no-name brand, Tweez, Tease Me. It's a little it's cute, a dress, it's a little black dress. This is Divided H&M. This is Forever 21 leggings. Who, what, where, which is Target, but there is no size tag. It's actually a really cute little dress, but no size. So this is, um, I looked this up, DC by Esprit, Esprit Denim. And there are some pieces that we're selling for a little, but this is just a bubble denim skirt. This is like a beach cover up by Blue Island. This is another one of those little, little crop top things. <laughs> this is Danskin leggings. Banana Republic factory, little tank top. It has a really cute zipper detail. This is the tiniest tank top I have ever seen. The brain, it just says push. No size, just a little, little bitty thing. This is, I don't even know why, I, oh, Adidas, but the tag is so worn, can't even read it. This is Caution to the Wind, which I think is an anthro brand, but it's just like literally this teeny little, yeah. Express, DR2, which I have looked that up before. Again, that's just like, I think it's, Nordstrom or Macy's or something like that, like a house brand of somewhere. It's cute. I would have kept it if it fit me to match some of my Lily shorts. This is a really cute dress and it comes with this. Hold on, I have two pieces. Okay, this is a maxi dress and it has, okay, stand by. Let me figure this out. Okay, the brand is 12 p.m. by Moni Ami which there were some solds, but not a lot, or not for a lot, but it has this with it, which there's no belt loops. So I don't know if it's like a headband, a scarf, because with no belt loops, it would just kind of fall down. So I don't know, but it's definitely the same print. These feel so good. I wish these, these are extra small. They're just Morona, which is Target. They feel like silk. They're not, but they feel amazing. All right, these are some boot cup by Gap. Um, actually, I, I need to, hold on. Let's see, color blue, lake blue. I'm trying to see if it has a date. No. Oh, fall of 2017. 
So usually these, these are what I'm talking about. I would cut that out if it wasn't recent, but it's recent enough. It's a 25 petite. They're probably not gonna take these anyway, which is fine. Um, Gap bottoms are not super cheap, so I might end up listing those myself, or those will probably be sent into the thread up kit. Uh, Joe Fresh, size six. Couple more things, we're almost there. This is a Fabletics top, but no, there's no size tag. Old Navy, extra small. Divided, H&M, like a ten other, like tiny thing. Massimo, maybe that's the one they don't make anymore. I don't know. A little dress. And the last item is no boundaries at size three, which is Walmart. So that's a lot. That's a lot of things. So this video is already 30 minutes. So I'm going to cut here and future me is going to pop back in and let you know how much I made and how many items. So now I have to go count all of this. All right, guys, see you soon. Hey guys, Future Me is now present. And today I took the two bins to Plato's Closet. Now I want to, disclaimer with typically when I'm doing any sort of buy sell trading, I am not just going to go one time. I'm going to take the items there today. I'm gonna to go hit another one across town. Being in Orlando, we have a ton of locations. And tomorrow I'm going to take these leftovers over to Style Encore. So I kind of have a revolving door always of a bin for Play-Dohs, a bin for Style Encore, and a bin for Once Upon a Child. So for purposes of this video, I literally went one time to one store. There are a lot of factors that come into play, whether it's that particular day. What does the inventory of your store look like? What are they looking for? Maybe they don't need any size smalls. And the more I've talked to the workers, they're kind of given a rundown by the owners that say, hey, please don't buy any extra smalls. Don't buy any shorts. We're good on this. We're good on that. So there are a lot of factors and it doesn't mean just because a location doesn't take your items today, they won't take them tomorrow. So as I figured, I did dig through the bin just to kind of see what they took from me, just so I, I like to know. I like to shop around the store, see what brands they have in the store. As I figured, they took all of the Walmart, those big fluffy jackets, and they took a, most, a lot of long sleeve. We don't, it's still 90 degrees here, but they took a lot of the, what I consider Florida fall items. They took all of the crop top, the things that covered nothing, the things that were this big, basically anything that I said, they're gonna take this. They took almost all you know how many pairs of activewear leggings and shirts I showed you with no size tags? They took all of those except for maybe two and the two they didn't take had size tags. So again, your store might be different. Mine doesn't matter if it doesn't have a size tag. So I appreciate that because I couldn't send that stuff back to thread up. So all in all, uh, the numbers, I took 123 items. I don't know how I crammed that many items into two normal size totes, but I did. They were able to offer me $142.10 and they bought 44 items. So that breaks down to, they paid me $3.23 a piece, which I am thrilled with, especially because we're talking about mall brands, the crap, if you will, that I didn't want to sell myself. It just wasn't worth it for me. And then remember, I paid $1.31 per item. So I still made a profit on all 44 of these items of $1.92 each. Now, you might be thinking, well, that's not worth it for me, but this inventory literally showed up at my house. All I had to do was box it up. I was going there anyway because it's right next door to my favorite Goodwill location. So drop the items. So to me, I think this was a win. Now again, I'm not done there. So I, these items have not seen the end of their life. If you're following along with my series, they're going to go to Play-Doh's or Style Encore. And then from there, they're going to go to a Thread Up Rescues Partner Kit. So 
we have not seen the end. And just to recap, including tax, I have $478.65 into this bulk purchase. Now we take out what Plato's paid me and I'm, I'm trying to recoup my money and then of course profit. I am at now $336.55 that I still need to make up. But while I was in Plato's, I thought I would show you what the cool thing that I like to do, this is why I'm always taking stuff to buy, sell, trade, even regardless of these thread up boxes, is uh, I like to trade in for items that either are worth my time to sell or items for me, for my kids. So today I picked up this cute pair of Crocs and just to show you kind of what they're charging for things. So these are the Crocs sneakers. I did pick these up for my son. They had them priced at $20. So I, these stores are typically only going to pay out about uh, 25 to 30% of what they are going to mark the item for. So keep that in mind. Now it's funny to me because Crocs are 20 bucks. They have a lot of like Walmart shoes, Target shoes, all marked at 25, 30. And then you find Chacos in brand new condition for $12. So these I got to sell and Chacos are typically always going to bring you, especially when they're in perfect shape, at least $50. I've sold some pairs for more than that. And finally, my husband, he comes with me. He was the muscles carrying my items in. He always finds the best stuff. I'd already looked through. They have, we're in Orlando. You guys know I love Disney. They have a Disney rack. I really thought I did a good job looking through it, but sometimes, you know, things are packed in there. Look what he found me. Ta-da! A tie-dye glitter sparkly spirit jersey. Now, of course, you know, I already have a couple of these, but I don't have this one. And these retail for $80. And honestly, a lot of times they sell out and you can resell them for more. Uh, in the parks now, you can only, they're limiting people to like two per item. So anyway, I love a good Disney Spirit jersey. So he was like, oh, it was only $8. He's like, babe, it's not brand new with the tags, but do you think you can flip this for eight bucks? I said, yeah, I think I could flip it for 50, but I'm keeping it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. I know it was a little bit different than I've done in the past. I promise you this is the longest one of the series. I think I haven't recorded the last one, but... Uh, there was a lot, a lot I was taking. So stay tuned. The next video will be my style encore, what I got and what I'm sending there and how much I have made. See you in the next one.